All right, this player talk radio. We in the building, man. It's DJ Kuda, man. Let's get it, bro. You're now in the mix with the young DJ Kuda. Tonight we gonna be going in. Let's get it. Let's get it. Shouts to Freddie Gibbs, man. Let's get it. Say that little boy she cherished Fuck the veins up, now she shoot a foot with the hair Twinkle toes, no single hoes That like to treat they know Sending muff pics, photos That got they treat exposed I swear you ought to keep your daughter from this dirt bag Dog nigga, scum of the earth For what it's worth I've been handling probation well Smoking blunts, 36 months And I ain't seen a jail Making music to make some mail Fuck the recognition But I guess my record Just too reckless for the record business Won't sell my soul to chase a check But I be checking niggas Eat the rum in interviews And the street put lanes in the game Like Duncan Pinterest you. Pick these niggas, change their persona, then let you pick it, shoot. Yeah. Eeny, my Nemo, so don't try me, ho, bitch, I been a fool. Psychopathic whoop ass like Michael Daddy. Yeah. Everything that touch my skin, brand name, my brand new caddy. Got that pussy wet paint as I sit on the softest leather. I ain't tripping, Joe, my ticket to heaven could cost whatever. I just pray the Lord, don't toss me with Satan off in the cheap seat. Thought of dying broke with no legacy, make my knees weak. As I proceed to make his bleed, let it be threes leave. Getting green by any means, I don't need it. You're now in the mix with the young DJ Kudo. Tonight we gonna be going in. Let's get it. On Player Talk Radio. I hit you up, I'm talking about banging something yeah. Chill off in your crib and have the thing Probably make the stank or something yeah. Girl, you like my bottom, bitch yeah. Post my bill, pay for my lawyer yeah. Play your position when the mother hoes get out of order When you wanna get that pussy You play with some plane ticket Work around town when I bust it down Then what shit like the main bitch <laughs> Got dick with my dick spirit with lipstick yeah. Basically, if this bitch lay with me Go get that Fetty I'm album, man shit for real. It's 2 a.m. club, what's about to close up? Yeah. So I feel like I got an hour later, Gators on. Then I met you, kick game, and followed you to the breakfast spot. Yeah. Fuck you like I married you that night up in the merry Got yeah. sweet like you got your cherry pop. Uh. Drunk and switching up position. Yeah. Thought this shit would never stop. Motherfucker in a mission. Damn. Here we go again. Here we go again. Gotta yeah. take that walk now, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. It ain't gotta be the walk of shame, baby. No, no. But that's only if you know the game, uh. baby. Walk away with your head up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, straight slam, sleeping with pistols under my pillow. We uh, waking, making up next to cooking up sick of pillow. I beat that Thursday night and Friday morning off the work she go. Walk, just take this dick, don't take it personal Your friends probably gon' call you a hoe But you shippin' no Them bitches want a grip on the same dick you be sittin' on And your girl Monique, she be hitting me with her nigga gone Tryna buy some weed, she proceed with nothing but Vicky's on Nothing but ass and tears, but I let that ass in business Take it in that hit that wish I could say it was accidental Like I slipped on a banana peel and fell in that pussy Y'all niggas be spendin' all kind of screw to get in that pussy And she cop a seven every Friday Chuck the deuces at her baby daddy as I pulled up out the driveway for real. Yeah. <laughs> Back in your pussy, you know what I'm saying? Show. It ain't gotta be a walk for shame, baby. Damn, Kuda. Why are you doing like that, baby? <laughs> Play 
Red Talk Radio. We in the building. It's DJ Kuda back at the helm of today's show, man. Let's get it. in my head before I forget something as fine as you. Does everyone need an audition to get with you? You ain't got to go through all that shit. Well, then I choose you. Choosing another nigga in front of Be this cool, nigga. Baby. Hey, bitch, come here. <laughs> got your motherfucking man, come here. Mr. Pretty Tony, I mean, you know the rules of the game. I mean, this bitch just chose me. Now, we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. You shade tree nigga. You, you ain't no pimp. You're a rest haven for hoes. You're a car thief. A car thief. The one you got out there is probably hot as a firecracker right now. It was $35,000. $35,000 right? $35, cash money? No, no, I get one thirty $35,000 plus one, right? The one I gave. No, you gave me six, though, right? That's it was true. one. I had one. It was six. And a $35,000 plus one plus six leaves seven. $35,000 and seven, right? Motherfucker, can you buy that? <laughs> Nigga, next time you hear grown folks talking, shut the fuck up, here. Yeah? Go get it, Bob. Bring that bitch here. Freeze, nigga, you wanna die? This is where you gonna be, man. It's your play. Hey, man. Oh, got you, I 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 got Rock something. Ass on there. You got no business being in no way. Shut up. The game is out there, Goldie. Just waiting for you. You can be a player. Perhaps one of the best. You were one of my best boys, the sharpest. I hated losing you. You didn't really lose me, man. I mean, Cat just hid me away in his prison and threw the key out the window. Yeah, well, that deal was set up wrong. 
See, those other niggas didn't have no business being out there. No way. It was a setup. I used to lie in that stinky-ass 4x5 cell looking at those dog walls. And I don't care how much I let it run through my head, it always ended up the same way. I'd always end up hanging upside down in that stupid car looking at that stupid-ass cop. We're gonna change all that, man. We're gonna put you on your feet again. You're gonna have a bankroll so big, when you walk down the street, it's gonna look like your pockets got the mumps. I ain't never had those kind of mumps. Now remember, a pimp is only as good as his product, see? And his product is women. Now you got to go out there, and you got to get the best ones you can find. And you gotta work them broads like nobody's ever worked them before. And never forget, Anybody can control a woman's body, see? But the key is to control a mind. You see, Pippin's big business. And it's been going on since the beginning of time. And it's gonna continue straight ahead until somebody up there turns out the lights on this small planet. Can you dig it? Yeah, yeah, I can dig it, yeah. Madam. That's some real shit. This player talk radio is DJ Kuda back in the building at the helm of today's show, man. That's some real. <laughs> All right, man. We come to a part in the show where we've reached three. We're we're on part three. We've reached three good shows of great information on this game and now we've come to the part in the show where we're going to talk about the human bitch now we talked about prostitutes we talked about different types of prostitutes we didn't go too deep on it but we we've scraped the surface of it and we're going to talk about the human bitch now some people like to listen to the third part of something and not listen to the first part. So, there's going to be some listeners that are new. So, what we're talking about, especially just listening to the third part, they're like, okay, this is this should be what it really should be. Or, you know, this should be what he's really talking about. Third part, the greatest. You know, that, that's, that's how they look at shit. Um, we're talking about women. And we're talking about women that are in the lifestyle and women that are out of the lifestyle. Now, fellas, let me tell you something. Once you learn about this lifestyle and you are indoctrinated with some of this game and you see it actually is true and you and and, and you know you get a chance to really see it. The square woman that is so stubborn and that is is and, and they and they uh they uh, applaud themselves on this, but it, it, they really get mad because they don't really realize that there's a whole game and a whole lifestyle behind what they call real life when it's just a game. That's why you can easily I wouldn't say manipulate, but you can easily do what you want to do because they're taking something that shouldn't be taken seriously seriously, or sometimes. It could be the reverse. They're taking something that you don't take seriously, seriously. You know what I'm saying? So, or, or, but that, but that's their thought process that they think that, you know what I'm saying? That they're above what you're doing or things like that. Like you have a lot of women out here will get mad or talk down upon a woman that gets paid for her services, whereas she's sucking and fucking and doing all this shit for free and don't understand what's really going on and she's game goofy and then she wonders why she didn't get paid or she has some type of vendetta because she's out here putting in all this work and has nothing to show for it. Whereas you, you have an apartment, a crib, a nice little cat, a cool dog, jewelry, cars, and things like that. And she doesn't understand how or why or the importance of it, or she just talks down on you, like, oh, well, you selling your pussy, that's how you got that, uh, I get up and go out, and you know what I'm saying, sometimes they, you know, so, you know, and, 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 I mean, look, 
this ain't for every woman and every woman ain't for this. But don't be a square woman portraying that you this when it ain't for you, but you're so stubborn and gun ho on being that and then still not getting paid or or things still ain't going your way and then you wonder why certain you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just when you when you realize what's really going on, it opens your eyes to to things that you know you haven't you haven't you know given a second thought about so that's why a lot of women will talk down on women that you know basically are you know indulging in certain different types of lifestyles and a lot of these women's i said women's a lot of these women that like look up to cardi b and Nicki minaj and all the other stuff they're hoes man she can't tell you about Mary McLeod Bethune. She can't tell you about Madam C.J. Walker, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, uh, Shaharazad Ali. She can't tell you about Harriet Tubman. She can't tell you about, you know, Susan. I was about to say B. Anthony and all this other shit. She can't tell you about prominent women. And Susan B. Anthony ain't no prominent women, though. But a lot of these little feminist LGBT bitches or these intersectionality these little these little uppity bitches they <laughs> they'd be the first ones but they don't know what these bitches really be standing for you know the sojourner troops and all that other shit or bell hooks and all this and then even if she tells you about these motherfuckers you gotta make sure she understands exactly what she's talking about so that's another whole story but she can tell you all about cardi b and there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, accident with that. That, that's, all of that's purposeful. But we'll get to that later. We're talking about a certain time. <sighs> so when we get into this game, we're going to talk about the human bitch. What I'm, I'm laying the context and the footwork about what we're going to be talking about. We're talking about a square woman that is very stubborn, doesn't understand life. And she's square. And I'm not saying she should just conform and, oh, hey, hey, this is what you do. Be a hoe. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying nothing like that. But she's oblivious. What is actually a game she's taking seriously and looking stupid in the process. But then at the same time, this can be a precursor for you guys to be like, yo, this is a, this is a serious woman. She's like, you know handling her business and about her business because sometimes you don't want a bitch that's playing some of these hoes they play a little bit too much and shit like they don't know when to stop playing so like they 40 and shit and they're like okay there, there's a part in life where you uh, where you where you should at least understand what you're doing enough to stop playing like shit when they get out of the game but you have a lot of renegade hoes and these hoes turn 30 50 and 40 and they they got they got different, you know, agendas and shit. So, like, hold on. Let me let me throw on some. What do hoes like? Let me let me throw on an old school hoe. You know what I'm saying? Some of these 40 year olds, they just don't know when to hang it up, son. <laughs> you know the vibes, man. Stop playing, son. But nigga, even in the game, you're gonna have to deal with what is called a human bitch. Most women today are human bitches. They, you say you're a prostitute. I mean, cause you know, you know, you don't really want somebody really calling you a prostitute. There could be a better name for it. Like a lot of these bras, like some of these bitches out here, they like, look, I strip professionally. I am not a stripper. I am an exotic dancer. I am not a hoe, I am a Negro hospitality hostess. I don't know what the fuck y'all bitches be calling y'all something. Like There's a more professional way to call them some shit nowadays, man. And that's really to run from the stigma of what they're actually doing. Don't matter what label you put on it. Some niggas be like, listen, whatever you want to call yourself, baby, as long as you bring it in the money. Okay. That moniker, see, a, a motherfucker would do anything for a ribbon. But let's get into it, man. We're almost going to be at the 20-minute mark. 
And if you learned something from the show, laughed or did something, man, you owe me a like, man. Drop a like on my shit, man. Break yourself, nigga. It only takes two seconds to just scroll up and just like the motherfucker. You in the chat room, scroll up. Like the motherfucker, man. I'm going to be on YouTube heavy. Y'all ready? Let's get into the human bitch. Go cop the secret. I said the secret. Go cop the sweet sin. Uh, uh, fuck. Go cop the pimp's Bible. The sweet science of sin by Alfred Bilbo Golson. And if his folks are listening, man, nigga, I'm selling units right now, bro. Like, like, for real, for real. Shout outs to y'all, man. I'm selling units right now, man. They, they, they better go cop this damn book. I know that for sure. We ain't about to let Alfred go out like that, bro. Alfred Bilbo Golson, man. Go cop the Pimp's Bible. The sweet... Science of sin. Go cop that shit, nigga. All right. All right. Let me give y'all what y'all came here for. The human bitch. Hold on. Hold on, Dina. Now, let's talk about the human bitch uh, real quick. All right. So, Webster's ninth new Collegate Dictionary defines the word bitch. I know I say it in a certain way. I say it with some impunity. Bitch. There's different ways to say bitch, like Kevin Hart. Bitch. 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 It's like... <laughs> Yo, they just nabbed my man for, for old LGBTQ uh, comments that he made. That nigga said, that nigga said, nigga, don't give me the mic. If I if I get if I get famous, nigga, I'ma tell you, look, I said some fucked up shit. I might be sorry and shit. But no, that nigga, you know, they got him for the no, stop. That's gay. That that that's gay shit. Like I told you niggas, man, they coming for you straight niggas. It's war on us straight niggas, bro. From different angles, man. You can't even be straight nowadays, man. Oh, if you declare yourself straight, nigga. Oh, my God. Real talk. Nigga, nigga. We live in some crazy times, bro. And I'm I'm, going to tell you the truth, bro. So as the dictionary defines the word bitch in several terms, some are a lewd or immoral woman, a malicious, spiteful, and domineering woman, a female dog, a doe, a deer, a female deer. Let me stop. A loose, malicious woman is like a loose, malicious dog. Both are defined as a bitch. Ain't that a bitch? The loose dog will mate with as many dogs as she comes in contact with. As many as 8 to 10. She is an easy prey for all and free. After the nights and days of adventure are all over... She doesn't make it home with a crust of bread or even a bone. She's usually, she usually has a belly full of puppies and doesn't know who the daddy is. When a loose woman commits the same act, she is considered a human bitch. When a loose woman commits the same act, she is considered a human bitch. When a loose woman commits the same act, 
She's considered a human bitch. <laughs> Alright, so there is a great difference between a whore, a prostitute, and a human bitch. Now, fellas. I can't sing. But which one do your bitch fit under, man? Does she fit under a whore? Did she try everything? Is she a prostitute? Or has she prostituted? Is she a toot? Has she tried everything? Or is she a human bitch? As there is morning, noon, and night, the prostitute is secretive and typically gets her money with a taste of class. The whore is lewd, cunning, Sneaky and gets nothing but pregnancy and most of the time doesn't even know who the father is. God damn it. Now just because she knows who the father is doesn't mean she a hoe. But I'm just saying. Let's get it. So She doesn't know who the father is. So like morning, noon, and night, the prostitute is secretive and typically gets her money with a taste of class. The whore is lewd, cunning, sneaky, and gets her money any way she can. But the human bitch gets nothing but pregnancy and most of the time don't know who the father is. It's incredible what a fifth of whiskey, wine, or drugs can make some loose women do. For some loose women, it does not take anything but the opportunity and a willing partner in any race. The human bitch does not consider security, marriage, or any money as important factors. Just sex. She gets nothing. A pimp is supposed to be able to bring the best out and the worst out of a woman. But get to the human bitch? To see the light is very... But trying to get a human bitch to see the light is a very difficult task. My bad, y'all. Trying to get the human bitch to see the light is a very difficult task. Even for him. Even for a pimp. Society is programmed to the point... That if a woman pays to be laid, she's a prostitute. That's where their story ends. And if she's not going to get security, money, or marriage, what's the advantage? If she gets nothing, she's considered a human bitch. Even by the ones she does it with. When he has had enough... He will inform her that she's nothing but a bitch. Being criticized by society should be being criticized by society should be the ones at least worry as far as getting paid for play. Because prostitution has a thousand faces, real talk. Ask any member of society Prostitution does have a thousand faces, though. If they would marry a man if he didn't have a job but was well off financially or had some other form of security, could love be a substitute? If no, the answer... Hold on, who is texting me, man? Y'all niggas killing me. My bad, y'all. 
Let's start that again. Being criticized by society should be one's at least worry as far as getting pay for play. Because prostitution has a thousand faces. It has a thousand faces. Ask any member of society if they would marry a man if he didn't have a job, was well off financially, or had some other form. Hold on. Who is texting me? Okay. Yeah, if he didn't have a job or well off financially or had some other form of security, would love be a substitute? So if a nigga didn't have a job, would his love be a substitute? If no, the answer is just a, is one of the faces of coded prostitution. Everything is coded prostitution nowadays. The average woman is actually a prostitute or have prostituted in some form or another, but she wants to call it something else. That's cool. All human bitches have sex for free and consider it just a little sport. Nothing, well, just a little sport. Not realizing that she is sporting with fire and is subject to get burnt. She sincerely thinks that she is playing a neat little trick on her husband or boyfriend and no one will ever know but there are her sexual partners, uh, but no one will ever know about it. She knows her sexual partners know, and God knows. So she knows what she's doing. Her sexual partners knows what she's doing, and God knows what she's doing. Marriage or money doesn't cross her mind because the layman has told her he loves her and he's going to marry her. If she asks for money, then she is a whore, and he certainly does not want a whore for a wife. There are some areas in the United States that predicate that if you don't get money for sex services, you are considered something lower than a serpent's belly. Life has its twists and turns, and as in the days of Mary Magdalene, Jezebel and Hagar, y'all need to go back to uh, the first episode that I uh, shared of the series to know who Hagar is. The harlot, when women were stoned because they accepted gifts for sex, today, in which they're gifted for accepting gifts for sex, today in as many areas, you are stoned if you don't. A whore or a prostitute who the fuck is commenting on my shit? Hold on. A whore or a prostitute would not dare spend a night out and come home empty-handed. In the pimp world, a woman who lies with a man for free is scorned. Not only is that a broken code, it affects the prostitution business. For a whore to undersell another whore is a definite no-no. A woman's vagina is like a sandwich. Oh, damn. There are no alleys or no in-between. She either sells it or gives it away. Damn. A whore or a bitch, although there are exceptions to every rule, the average marriage is only a form of prostitution. And it goes back to the story that I told you guys where marriage is a form of prostitution. It is a business. You have to understand what goes on. Now you can dress it up and make it look nice and put religion behind it and things that like that of, of the sort, but it is a form of prostitution. That's why you should see the marriage that a pimp had with his hoe and a hoe has with a pimp. You motherfuckers be together for four years jugging. You can't tell me that ain't that motherfucker's wife, man. Real talk. I'm in the hood, y'all. So, you gonna hear shit. Get me out of this motherfucker. If you wanna donate, donate at C-U-D-A-K-I-D, the number eight at yahoo.com at, via PayPal, man. I'm gonna be like one of these hoes. I'm gonna get the cash, cash app set up. But anywho, 
a woman's pussy is 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 not like a sandwich. There's no alleys or in between. She either sells it or she gives it away. A whore or a bitch, although there is there are exceptions to every rule. The average marriage is only a form of prostitution. That's my husband or that's my boyfriend. When you add it all up, the answer is always the same. The husbands have to pay the wives and the tricks have to pay the whores or the prostitutes. Only the human bitch is lost in the shuffle. See what I'm saying? The husbands have to pay the wives and the tricks have to pay the whores or prostitutes. Only the human bitch is lost in the shuffle. The woman who commits adultery is a daughter of the night, a hoe. The woman who accepts money is a whore or a prostitute. The woman who's had sex for free is a human bitch. The woman who's waited until marriage to engage in sex has not committed adultery and is the perfect specimen of womanhood while flying back from California. I engaged in a conversation with one of the pretty stewardess as she flashed one of the most enchanting smiles that I have ever seen. I kept ordering my favorite drinks just to have the opportunity to chat with her. She was going to a layover in Chicago for a day and a night, and I offered to take her to dinner. After we had talked about the different types of Chinese food she liked the most, she agreed to meet me in Chicago, China, uh, Chicago's Chinatown, and designated the restaurant later on that evening. So we met while eating and sipping cocktails and the subject of sex was broached. She was very attractive, dark haired girl of Italian ancestry. Hold on. Why do people want to text me? Why do people want to text me? And shout out to Sierra. So, um, she was very attractive, dark haired girl of Italian ancestry. The kind that would be, uh, what the fuck? She was very attractive, dark skinned girl of Italian ancestry. My bad, I'm getting distracted. The kind that would be hard for any man to resist. After a few more cocktails, she wanted to see some of Chicago's nightlife. I took her out on the town and made sure she enjoyed herself. It was getting late and I asked her if she had to get back soon. To my surprise, she suggested we spend some time together. We checked into a small, well-kept Southside hotel. You know what's going on. You know the vibes, y'all. The next morning, she didn't have to rush back. As a matter of fact, she didn't want to return saying, come on, come on, Bilbo, let's make love again. Oh, damn, hold on. The next morning, she didn't want to have to rush back. The next morning, she didn't have to rush back. As a matter of fact, she didn't want to return saying, come on, Bilbo, let's make love again. I don't want to have to be I don't have to be back until 5 p.m. Baby, you're a hot box. Do you know what you just given away? I asked her. What? She asked as she raised up in bed. A million dollars worth of love, I told her. What do you mean? She quizzed. Baby, you could make a lot of money if you stop giving this heaven away and start selling it. Pretty as you are, you can make a mint. I told her, oh no, I would never do that. So, well, he told her she could make a mint. And she said, oh no, I would never do nothing like, I would never do a thing like that. I have sex with a lot of men from different countries and have, uh, what the fuck is this bit? All right, this woman texting me like shit. Woman, Y'all broads gotta stop texting me when y'all know I'm, I'm doing a show. God damn it. I'm dropping this game for the family 
And y'all motherfuckers. Bitch, I don't know if that. Man, let me get back to this game. My bad, y'all. Bro, I was texting me random shit. Do you have the. No, bitch! <laughs> Baby, you can make a mint if you stop giving this heaven away and start selling it. Pretty as you are, you can make a mint. I told her. Oh, no, I would never do nothing like that. I have sex with a lot of men from different countries. Oh, my God. Let me turn my... Let me go on the airplane mode. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Will you ever know what the fuck she was talking about? All of that will be answered on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hold on. Let me stop. All right, so... <laughs> Baby, you can make a lot of money if you stop giving this heaven away for, and start selling it. Pretty as you are, you can make a mint, I told her. Oh, no, I would never do a thing like that. I have sex with a lot of men from different countries and have little to roll in the hay if the guy is nice. No big deal. I've given away a lot, but I've never and I would not dare sell my body, she explained. Wide-eyed, I said to myself, well, I'll be damned. Here's a million dollar beautiful human bitch. So basically in that end part, y'all, she was basically explaining to him, which a lot of these women will do, why they wouldn't sell themselves. And I'm not saying women should sell themselves because there's different types of women and certain women guys we hold to a certain novelty and standard doesn't sell themselves where if you have certain delusional women that want to engage in that lifestyle but haven't fully committed she just done a whole bunch of shit but haven't fully committed to one or the other and it's kind of fucking her up sometimes living in the middle will fuck you up it's better off or more better for you or more beneficial for you to choose a side Either you're going to be a square bitch or you're going to be a bona fide hoe, get this game and be lucrative. Or you're going to be in the middle and you're going to be confused and not knowing what's going on and cause trouble for both sides. The pimping, the player, and the nigga, and the layman or the good nigga that's really trying to wife you up. Ain't that a bitch? And that's what we're talking about when we talk about this game. That's why I tell you players, man. Certain women, you're going to have to be up in your bag, bro. So I'm only going to read the first couple of pages to you, man. We're stopping at 67. Chapter number six. Five of the most shrewd females. Let's talk about bitches. Let's talk about the human bitch a little bit more. And a lot of the human bitches are these, are, are these, these square broads that don't know nothing about the game. Fortunately, you listen to this podcast, you know something about the game or a little bit more educated on something that you thought you knew about or more uh, more informed on a certain lifestyle or how people look at things. Some of the most shrewd females. Let's talk about these hoes. Favorite subject. Many times the discussion has come up that every woman who associates with a pimp is a prostitute and that is totally false. That's some real shit. I know some real girls out here that associate with real pimping and hell they they not shit they ain't like that for real real talk let's get it so many times a woman who associates with a pimp is misconstrued that she's a prostitute and that's totally false a wife can make a pimp out of her husband. I got some game for you niggas that's married too, though. A mother can make a pimp out of her son. A sister can make a pimp out of her brother. The situation is like putty. You can twist it, turn it, in any way you desire. But when you are finished, it will still be putty. There are women today who are pimping the hypocrite pimp business women. 
women of affluent status or well off financially working women and wives and other men it will be difficult to detect the average woman of today the average woman of today tries desperately to stay out of the grasp of the known pimp but she is easily she is the easiest prey on earth for the hypocrite pimp which is true so the average woman the square woman is the easiest prey on earth for a certain type of pimp, which is the hypocrite pimp. Society believes that if a woman associates or affiliates with a well-known pimp, she is a prostitute. There are many women who help men financially, but do not want the fact, but do not want that the, but do not want that fact known that she helped them. A lot of you niggas be trying to get with these hoes, and they trying to support dirty dick rodney because he has a little hustle going on which is semi pimping she never has no money for you but she has money to to indulge in his fuckery you did trust me i've been dirty dick rodney she has money to indulge in his fuckery let's get this game there are many women who help men financially but do not want that fact known. Society feels that a real man gets on his feet by pulling his own bootstraps, so to speak, and only pimp accept financial favors from a female, which is not true. The following are descriptions or definitions of five of the shrewdest females of the shady lane who, tutored, who are tutored by pimps. So we're going to talk about how different types of women are pulled. Paper hangers, forgery, and bad check passers. These type of bras are out here, right? Confidence game, the pigeon drop or drag. Type of women are out here, whether they gay or real women. Pickpockets, shots, boosters. Thieves that procure brand new items. Why are these people hitting me up? Brand new items right off the racks of some of the most expensive department stores, such as fur coats, jewelry, and other items, etc. And the mother pimps. These five women are definitely... And, and these five types of women definitely get enough money to support their men and inadequately pay off their attorneys and jail fines and still live comfortably. By no means they are prostitutes, but they are like the old adage goes. All women are potential prostitutes if the money, time, or place presents itself. So that's some real shit. Now... On another show, I'm going to get into these types of women. But let's get into uh, the drag women. Let's, let's, we're not going to leave y'all hanging. Let's get into the confidence women. These drag niggas, the trans. Sunny, the young prostitute, spoke. I've been peddling my body since I was 18 years old, and now I'm 28. Ten years in the game. Tired of some of the things that I have had to go through. Dealing with, the, dealing with those maniacs, drunks, rapists. Some of them, and these are regular prostitutes that tell you the same shit. Some of them are so unclean. I think I've just about had my share. I'm just a shot. Lucrita, Lucrita said. I've been thinking about the same thing. You're getting too old to be on the fast track, Sonny said. As he sat down on the side of the bed where he rested, counting his night's trap, counting the money that he made for the night. Lucrita was a tall, very good black, very good looking black woman who has seen, who has been a daughter of the night. She's been a seasoned hoe. Since she was a teenager, she had been with many different men and had just about paid her dues as far as prostitution goes. She has supported several pimps and whorehouses in her short lifespan. 
the time had come where her mind and thoughts reached a stage of maturity and she wanted to make a change. I was thinking, I love you, Sonny, and I love the game because the game is my life. But I'm getting too old for this game. These young hoes are walking all over me. Some of you old bitches don't know when to grow up, so this is some good game for y'all. These young hoes are walking all over me, Lucreta said. Well, baby, life is elevation. I'm so sure. So I'm sure the game is to realize that you're not familiar with the different facets of the game. But the drag is about your speed, being gay and trans. I know you would rather talk for the money than to lay down first and getting up last for it. Now wouldn't you, baby? Plus the profits are more plentiful. Which is true. Sonny told her, What's drag? Lucreta asked coingly. So Lucreta's a real woman. Sonny's a gay man. Sonny asked her, What's drag? Because Sonny is feminine. But he's a nigga. And he wants to be like a, a bitch. But he can't be a bitch. But hanging out with the woman prostitutes, which reminds a lot of these niggas of their mother, gets you into that lifestyle. Oh, you niggas gonna get this work. You niggas gonna know where this shit come from. See, cause women put you on the game. But today's women, they don't know what the fuck going on. So they sitting up here trying to, oh, you're gay. You're gay. Everything is gay. Oh, oh, you you straight? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to a way to emasculate you and make you gay. Because you're gay. You're gay. Everything is gay. Everything is gay. You understand what I'm saying to these bitches? That's what I told y'all. This is why I can confidently sit up here and tell y'all. There's going to come a time. Because these trans motherfuckers... Are, are, are putting in work bigger than what women are doing and these doctors are performing some 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 satanic ass surgery on these niggas bro you will never know this motherfucker is a man it's scary for a straight nigga right now bro so what I'm telling you bro I'm confidently telling you what's gonna happen in the future and you guys are gonna call me crazy for saying this right now but I am telling you exactly what's going to happen in the future. There's going to be a part of the game. There's going to be a part of the game where these trannies are going to turn against black women. Trannies are going to turn against everybody at, at some point. But they are definitely going to turn against black women, bro. And I hate to say it, it's because black women are giving them too much of a pass. And black women has talked too much shit about trannies in front of them. And black women themselves have created their fair share amount of trannies. Bro. I'm just a straight nigga that sat back and watched it. I coach a lot of, a lot of niggas in the lifestyle. I've coached. And just get not even just, I wouldn't even say coach just gave these motherfuckers advice on the type of game or or certain strategies on certain things that they want to get done when when it comes from dykes to doms to gay dudes gay dudes are hilarious this is some, some of the most funniest niggas I know but they're cool I'm not against none, none of this shit but as a straight man I'm telling you man dog Nigga, you get nigga when you learn this game, you get a third eye. You get a forecast of what the fuck's about to go on because you know what certain things lead to. You get a you get a for you get to foresee certain things that a square really can't tell you about. You understand what I'm saying? And it gets deeper. So here you have this prostitute putting this drag man onto game, and like I told you. Makeup and surgery, 
really started all this shit. We moving into a we move into an area in a space of life and time where this shit is is common. These niggas boosting and doing all kinds of shit just to get enough money to get their estrogen pills and surgery and shit. So just like this bitch is telling him. You have to, you, you, it's elevation. So she says, baby, drag is an old confidence game. It's an old game. Hold on. She said, baby, drag is an old confidence game. It's an old game, but it's brand new to everyone that hears it for the first time. Sonny told her. How does it go? She quizzed him. It's a long story, baby. A long story. He said as he put his night's earning into his robe pocket. Tranny about to... Tranny about to... Uh, Tranny about to put him onto some game. It's an old confidence game. And you see how drag nowadays, they made it into art and things like that. That's how they, that's how they get it in. It's an art. So motherfuckers be like, no, I'm not gay, but I, you know, I fuck around with the art. And then next minute, oh, I'm gay. I start hanging out with people that fucked around with the art and feel, realize what it really was. <laughs> I'm gay now. Don't judge me. You know, it, <laughs> it shit happens. Let's get into it. So she said, it's brand new to everyone that hears it for the first time. How does it go, she quizzed him. It's a long story, baby. A long story. He said that he puts his night's earning in his robe pocket. I'd like to learn how it goes. At least I wouldn't have to tolerate those tricks anymore. What's the penalty for dragon, she wanted to know. In most cases, you beat it. But it's because the judge takes into consideration that the fact that if the victim didn't have larceny on their minds themselves, they would have never gotten beat. Basically, trying to get something for nothing, Sunday schooled her, telling her how it will hold up in court if she fucks up. When you are going, when are you going to show me how it's done? She asked him. Well, I have a friend called Sly, who is a fake con man. So he has a friend called Sly, who is a fake, and he's a con man. And all his women are fakes. All his women are niggas. I'll get in touch with him and ask him and his women to help you get turned out. For me because he and his people are deep into it but there's a fee for hipping you to the game people don't just give away million dollar fame for free he and i are pretty close and i think he'll give me a break so he gonna put her on she's a he's a procurer he led a pimp to a new hoe That's pre-broken. She pays him for that knowledge. She goes and get turned out. See, when you put money into something, it's loyalty. You go get turned out and realize what it is. I'll have him show you. It's better he shows you than I tell you about it. Let's see how you turn out. But you got to pay me. For hipping you to this game. So within the next two weeks. Sonny got in touch with Sly. By the telephone. And informed him that there was something. That he wanted to discuss. And made a date for the following Friday. They met at South Beach Side Lounge. One of Chicago's finest. And while having their cocktail, Sly says, Sly says, you know, Sonny, you have been my main man 
for many, many years. And we both have stood in our, on our own two feet, but there's something that I can do for you pertaining to a favor. Don't hesitate to ask. So he's saying, if there's ever something that I can do pertaining to a favor, don't hesitate to ask. Well, that's just what I needed to know, a favor. You see, Sly, this broad of mine is squawking about being too old to hit the fast tracks. So a broad is, is, is you know, talking about being too, ho too old to be hoeing like a young bitch. And she heard about the, you know, the drag game. So he's, she's procuring. She's putting a pimp onto the game. And she wants to get turned on. So this is, this is, this is Sunny, hip and sly to, to Lucretia, the new hoe. And she wants to get turned on to the game. So she wants to get turned on about the drag game and wants to get turned on. What about getting one of your girls to turn her on or turn her on? Sly widened his eyes in amazement. You mean you want me to hip her to the drag game? Yes. Man, I thought you wanted to borrow a piece of money. Sly's uh, voice lowered. Man, that'll be a different uh that'll be a difficult job to do. Getting one of these old broads of mine to hip her. Cause they're too deep in the game. They're saying it's too many of half cocked broads out there now taking little money and making it bad for the money getters. I'm too impatient to turn out any more broads. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Like I did when I first got into it. Talk to old man Smithy. Tell him you're a friend of mine. He's going to charge you a nice fee, Sly told him. What do you call a nice fee? About 5000 But she'll be ready and she'll know what she's doing when he turns her loose. Sly took out his pen and pad and gave Sonny old man Smithy's telephone number. Smithy was a... Smitty was considered to be a professor in the con game. The following day, Sonny called and finally made the deal. He gave the old man 300 down as good faith money and promised him the balance in installments when Lucretia made her first sting. Smitty tutors were, uh, were to spend two weeks with Lucretia teaching her the ropes so he get his other hoes to turn her out. When the time came for Lucretia to hit the stroll for the first time, instead of her having what uh, Khan family called beginner's luck, which is good luck, she had beginner's bad luck. Sunny went with her and the other two girls on her first day. Lucretia, or Lucreta, was trained first to play the lost and found game. The two girls walked into Goldbots or Goldblatt's department store after following a victim from a nearby loan office. Sonny stood at a distance, serving as a lookout man, and the Bunko squad was well all over the score all over the store watching for thieves, con or con artists and uh, and pickpockets. So basically she's in a department store about to hit a lick and there's there's you know race soldiers and 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 uh security guards and and people watching out for people doing crime. Lucreta approached her first live victim. Pardon me, ma'am, but could you tell me where the lost and found department is? You see, it's not me that wants to know, but my girlfriend here. She just found a wallet in that telephone booth with about a hundred and six dollars in it. She tried to catch the man outside, but he got in a car without, uh, with out-of-state plates and drove off. She wants to have it advertised, thinking she might get a reward, but I think she got her reward right now. So basically, is she's conning the woman 
in doing the right thing. The right thing was to get the wallet, turn it in, and uh, maybe, maybe, you know, she would get a reward. But she's saying, well, if you don't want to help me, I think she can just keep the wallet and have her reward. Now, the guy has out-of-state plates. So what you have to understand, I'm putting this in the context for you guys, is that there's a good chance that he could be leaving town or that he might not be seen again. She said in a low tone voice, seeking larceny from the victim. Then she heard a clicking of Sonny's tongue, indicating that her to freeze the victim, that she had been spotted by a bunco squad. So she's been spotted and she turned and looked in his direction. He brushed the top of one hand with the other, meaning for her to get out of there, which are, you know, cues. The detectives were heading her way. Smithy's girl got away, but Lucretia, being inexperienced, hesitated, forgetting her sign to take the cue and language, and was busted. All of them could have gotten away, but when Sonny tried to snatch her, he was also busted. They were released on a, a thousand bond for attempt. The victim didn't know what was going on. She was only asked at the trial, what did the two women say to you? Lucretia learned a dear lesson that she would never forget in life. Always pay attention to your accomplice. Remember the signals and signs down to a T and never forget them. Next time they took Vic for 10,000. 5,000 a piece. They get paid. Smitty, his fee, and soon took another 10000 After that, there was no looking back for Lucretia. She took sting after sting. Her name fell amongst the most finest players. When she knocked old lady when she knocked an old lady off for 50 grand, playing the salt and pepper game, black and white girl team. Lucretia became one of the most notorious drag broads in the country. So she was dressing up and styling herself and hitting licks. And no one could tell who she was and got away. She became one of the most notorious drag broads in the country. And she capitalized on telling the biggest lie in the world. And became an old masterpiece. The drag pimp is still around. So a lot of these drag people that, you know, that are in the game, these gay guys, these, I said gay guys, <laughs> funny, these, you know, trannies and stuff like that, even that is a certain part of pimping because they're applying game to get the things that they want. And I told you guys about a lot of the game that these guys play, like they... They, you know, they, oh, I know your little secret. I'm going to tell your family and, and, and wife and shit. And I'm going to come out. A lot of this shit is happening right now. The drag game is really big. And it comes in the black community because a lot of times they want to effeminate you to, 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 to tone down your masculinity. Ain't no masculinity nigga really about to be in corporate. Go to churches right now. Ain't no masculinity nigga in there. But it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that these are still niggas. Niggas are still going to do nigga shit. So. I got to go out and go work. I wanted to drop this gem on y'all tonight. Go pick up the Pimp's Bible, The Sweet Science of Sin by Alfred Bilbo Golson, really good book. I'm going to be finishing the book. If I find anything else that's useful in it, I will do another series and I will promote this book. And I will definitely, I want to get this information out to you guys. I'm going to be breaking down books in 2019. But what we're going to be talking about is the game. And we're going to be talking about the ism. And we're going to be talking about this pimping. Because this game has got to get cold this January. 
and I believe that the game and the and the stories learned from the from these from these pimp stories will definitely teach you guys how to be a man and be able to have your balls and fucking tact when it comes down to, you know, doing certain things in this game. And definitely, you know, not bad. I'm, I'm kind of a, a little bit under the weather, but definitely, you know, this is this is this is good for you guys to uh soak up a lot of, you know, red pill information, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what to tell you motherfuckers, man. I got a lot of shit going on. We about to get out of the building. This Player Talk Radio. We're going to be back on scheduled programming. I got a Nature Boy show coming up. And I got a uh, regular hip-hop show coming up. We did a show about Takashi 6 9 Hopefully, I might put that on Facebook or YouTube. I don't fucking know, man. There's a lot of lost shows, man. So, where I'm literally breaking down the game and calling what's about to go on. So, man, you niggas, man. Don't wait up for the kid. It's Player Talk Radio. DJ Kuda back in the building, man. Let me go get this bread, man. It's Player Talk Radio. Let's get it. You're now in the mix with the young DJ Kuda. Tonight we gonna be going in. All the ones and twos and twos. Let's get it. On Player Talk Radio. Shouts to the after the party. You know. gonna get into this shit man you know that you know these hoes they love the cameras man they love being seen and shit like that man this game will never stop man it's player talk radio let's get it i'm out of the building man email me at player talk 8 at gmail.com let's player talk 8 at gmail.com i am your host for tonight's show i am dj cooler let's get it bro let's go man shout out to the after party that's my nigga bro let's let's get it Shout out to the cameras, man. You know these hoes love the camera, man. Let's get it. Let's go, man. I'm out. Player Talk Radio, man. Email me at playertalk8 at gmail.com. Let's go. Yada! You know she love the camera. Snap in the picture, the way she be moving. I love the camera. G, what up, bro? Shout out to my boy Darius Hofus, man. Go check out Neo Noir Podcast. Let's go. I'm sipping on my car, got my photo. I've been blowing hearts on my nose. She thinks that she loves me, she don't know it. Pass it to my boys, tell me you're going now. I've been fucking hard in a shot. I've been going hard, probably not. I don't wanna hear another word. No. She be talking to me like I give a fuck, no. I just want that angle from that back. I'm a zooming in, keep on mm, Damn, cool. Oh, yeah, baby, good to me, does. Oh, yeah, baby, good to be dusty. 